Okay team, let's bring you up to speed on an eventful couple of days in this week's vlog. Okay, where are you? Right, so, bit of an abnormal weekly vlog this week because unless you've been living, I don't know, on the moon, you would have seen Oh, I've injured myself. Okay, right, so um, where do we start, where do we start? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna break this video down into sort of three sections this week. Firstly, I'm gonna tell you how I got on at the London Marathon, if you didn't know and you've not seen any of the videos. Uh, let's dive into a little bit more sort of how I got on and, and that kind of thing. And then we're gonna talk about the injury, how I did it and what it is. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna be going along to Carter and George and they're going to be telling us exactly what we need to do, what's going on, um, and bring us right up to speed with the injury and give us a plan for what's going to be going on from here on out. Okay, so firstly, London Marathon, how that went. I've actually filmed this section, and I filmed this section before I got injured. I filmed it on the Monday when I was off. Uh, so let's play that, tell you how I got on at the London Marathon, how I felt over those 26.2 miles, and then I'll catch you after that, and then we'll bring you up to speed on the injury. Okay, so London 2024, I ran three hours and 44 minutes. Um, it was a tough race. The plan, if you didn't know, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please do that before you continue the rest of the video. But yeah, the plan was always to run 20 miles at 3.30 or 3.29 pace uh, for the first 20 miles. I wanted to see if I could hold that pace uh, for that part of the race. Because the London Marathon for me was a through race for Berlin, where I'm targeting running a PB. The other thing you need to know is that I've lost basically a training block last year through injury. I trained for Berlin and New York basically injured after the summer. I had a bad back, uh, bad back which really impacted that training and I definitely felt like I lost a lot of um, endurance during that and that's what's been the focus in this training block. So if you go through my Strava and all that kind of stuff, you'll see that I didn't do much speed work. Or there wasn't a hell of a lot of intervals and things like that because I was purely focused on the endurance. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to basically get the endurance back and then run London up basically up to 20 miles at my target goal pace pretty much for Berlin. And we achieved it. I couldn't have done that race without Hayden. I've got to give him a big shout out because I never would have been able to hold that pace. And if you look at the splits, I'll put them up on screen. But we were on point all the way through. And it was only about 18, 19, uh, I started to slow down. But yeah, pacing was perfect. Fueling was perfect. Shoes, if you've not seen the video on shoes, make sure you check that out because I switched my shoes at the last minute. But yeah, everything like that was perfect. All the kit, all the gear was great. No issues with anything. And yes, we paced it well, or Hayden paced me well. Uh, last six miles were, were a slog, I'm not going to lie. I dropped back to that nine minute mile easy pace that I've been doing around Hartford. And it was a struggle, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was hard because obviously I burnt out before then. I could have well, I couldn't easily, but I could have run 8.30 and probably been pretty consistent all the way through, but I wanted to push myself in those first 20 miles. So anyway, got the job done, uh, crossed the line. I actually sped up at the end because I saw that we was coming up to sort of 3.45. So I sort of dropped Hayden at Buckingham Palace. He was like, what's going on here? You, you, you had no energy. But yeah, I, I put my foot down over that last like, 100 metres, 200 metres to get under the 3.45. So I was well pleased. Um, did I uh, feel disappointed initially? Yeah, probably because, um, you know, it's always that could I actually hold that pace for a little bit longer? But you know what? On reflection, today, I'm super happy. And more importantly than anything else, I got to run with Hayden for 26.2 miles. I got to take in the crowds and, and everybody who shouted out 40 and, and all that sort of stuff, the support was amazing. The 40 runs cheer station was amazing. And it was just an epic, epic day. Right, so that was the London Marathon, and thank you to every single person who has given me a shout out, watched any of the reels, the videos, uh, messaged me on Instagram, and all that kind of stuff about the London Marathon. Thank you very much. Right, so next up, this bloody injury. Okay, so Tuesday after the London Marathon, uh, I stood up on my tiptoes and I got a, a popping uh, noise and uh, sensation in my left calf and well basically it was a calf tear i was in absolute agony uh it was so bad that i fell to the floor with it because the pain was just like nothing i'd ever felt in my calf muscle so i then uh, decided to ring 111 because i was getting pains in other places and i thought best to check in terms of uh, what to do and they actually said to go along to the qe2 hospital so big shout out to the qe2 hospital okay so then we headed over to the qe2 which is one of the hospitals here and i met some uh, amazing people who work for the nhs and i just love people who work for the nhs uh, whatever 
uh, whether you're a nurse, doctor, front of desk, whatever it is you do at the NHS, you're an absolute hero. Anyway, I saw the guys uh, there. They were amazing. Uh, the person I actually saw uh, was incredible. Confirmed that it wasn't my Achilles because that's what I was worried about. And I think that's what they're worried about on 111. So we did this test. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it was like a test to see if it was the Achilles. Uh, but it wasn't that. It was the, the calf muscle. And it was the calf muscle. And I'll put it up on the screen. It begins with G. I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I believe it begins with G that he said I had torn. So uh, that was that. Uh, confirmed the tear. Uh, wrapped me up, uh, the leg up. And uh, that was basically to protect it and, and aid with the sort of uh, rehab side of things. Um, no... I gave me some crutches because I couldn't put any uh, pressure on it because it was too painful. But the plan was, was to get, uh, have that wrapped up for like 48 hours and then um, use the crutches as and where I needed them, but ideally move away from them because the more you can uh, get the sort of blood going through the muscle, the better. But yeah, so uh, crutches as uh, for, for the immediate time, but then as and when I can lose them, I can. But already trying to get around without them now, um, using them sparingly, I would say. So uh, in terms of pain, I was like a nine when it happened. I'm now about a five or six, uh, I would say. But with anything like this, it, it swells up and then you don't know exactly the extent of it. So I'm currently resting uh, the calf and waiting for the swelling to go down. And then we're going to get into some rehab. So total week of rest, uh, which I was going to take anyway. Uh, so that's uh, kind of in a good thing. It's come at a good time in that respect because I was going to take a week off uh, so that I can have a full week of it sort of healing. And then we can get a program in terms of uh, getting it physioed and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to come on to that in just a second. Now, annoyingly, uh, I've got the busiest May or had Plan the busiest May ever, so it couldn't have come at a worse time, and even into June, but it is what it is. And we will now document the rehab and the, and the return to action on the channel. So again, I don't know the severity of uh, the tear, let's say, uh, because it just went up like a balloon. So let's see what happens, and that's hopefully what we're going to get from our visit to Carter and George today. So Carter and George are a specialist physio, they, they provide amazing services um, here in Hertfordshire and around. Go over to their website, Carl and George. I'll put the link in the description and you can basically get everything you need in terms of as a runner. So we're going to go along there. Um, hopefully they're going to give us some information, have a look at the, the calf, give me a plan of what we're going to do. That's the most important thing for me. The only way I'm going to stay sort of um, out of a rabbit hole in terms of my just mental health, I need a plan, I need something to focus on. So hopefully today uh, at um, Carter and George, we're gonna get that. So yes, that's it, you're up to speed. Let's jump in the car, let's head over to Carter and George, let's find out what's going on with the calf, get an update, get a plan, and then we can go from there. Okay team, so it's been just over a week now, and good news, I think, is my calf is feeling a lot better. The swelling's gone down like massively. Like, like in the last week, I got off the crutches, got out of the um, wraps and all that sort of stuff. And then I just did everything the doctor said. And I pretty much, um, I would say, Saturday was able to get around by myself. I wouldn't say pain free, but not far from it. It's now just like a, an ache. So what I'm hoping is, is what the, I think the doctor said something along these lines, that basically the, 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 the marathon made the calf sort of worse um, when it sort of tore. So long story short, I'm hopeful, because this is where we're going, like I just said, that we're going to Carter and George today to find out in terms of what's going on. This is my first assessment. So what I'm hoping is that it's not as bad as we initially thought. That's what I'm like, got everything crossed, fingers crossed, legs crossed, all that sort of stuff, that it's like grade one, you know, basically strain or whatever you call it, and, and we go from there. But who knows? The good thing is with Carl and George, right? And a big shout out to them. You can get scans here. You can get a, a um, like a whole sort of rehab schedule, session, track plan, everything sorted out. And that's what I'm hoping I'm going to get um, tonight. Well, let's see, right? So who knows what's going to happen? But I'm really hopeful that the sort of rest and all the other work I've been doing on it this week, like, just, I've literally just been doing everything possible to get it ready. Because for some reason in my mind, I want to be ready for Hackney Marathon, um, half marathon. Now I might be completely nuts thinking oh, I can do that, 
and I don't know until I've seen these guys, but I'm just, I don't know. Maybe because I'm a little bit, I don't know, like my calves are a bit better, that they've healed quicker. I've got no idea. I'm like literally hanging on to whatever I can get in terms of good news. So that's it. Let's go to Carlton and George. Let's find out what's going on, or at least get an initial assessment on where we're at right now on this calf muscle of mine. And hopefully, you never know, some good news about when I can actually get back to running. Okay, right, so first thing I've asked Sophie is, when can I start running? And you said? Not too soon. Um, it's not good news. If I put you back too quickly, you will be back at square one because it will just go again. So what I've done, I've just spent about five minutes telling her what a hero I am and how I'm already up and about hopeful that she would buy that and the fact that I could go running and she's already told me I can't. So, what's the plan now? We're gonna take it slowly and we're gonna assess it properly. Okay, let's go. Literally just getting the swelling down, right? Yes. Okay. It's just going to help speed up um, recovery time. Like robot. Speed. Looks like a robot, doesn't it? Right, well, let's go. Oh, I so said, look, Legend's back there, working hard, and I'm working hard here, trying to talk my way into the hackney half, which is not happening, but it might happen. Time frames. Time frames. Um, so, yeah, well, we'll debrief once we've done this um, because we've got to get a scan and stuff like that. That is quite cold now, isn't it? Yeah, we'll get it. It's going to go to minus 0.5 degrees. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, <it's cold. laughs> yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and freeze and then we'll wrap it up in a bit and then we'll, um, yeah, we'll get a plan together, me and the boss back there, who's going to... Get me ready for Hackney Half, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Hey, assessment time. Hey, where is she? Right, tell them what you tell them what you reckon. So based on today, I think there is definitely a muscle tear of the calf or the gastroc. Mm -hmm. um, I can't determine the classification, the size, or the recovery time frame for now. So what I've recommended is we get him booked in for an ultrasound scan to determine the classification and the size of the tear, and then we'll make a rehab plan from that. Which basically means I can't run still, correct? Correct. Oh, okay, well anyway, that's good news. She's a legend. I'm now gonna go and get booked in for a scan. And I think that's it. Right, so firstly, Sophie's a legend. Carter and George are legends. And everybody who works there, guess what? They're legends. But I'm not sure how I feel about what I just got told. Sounds like we've got a little bit longer than expected. Um, sort of wait. We've got the scan, well they're trying to get me a scan because uh, that's the issue, is getting me the scan for, um, it's a bit noisy over here. Yeah, get me the scan for the calf. But hopefully we can get that next week. And then once we know, like Sophie said, the size of it and what we're dealing with, then I suppose we can get like a plan and go from there. But it's really frustrating, it's really hard to sort of not run at the moment um, and deal with all that sort of stuff. So fingers crossed we can get a scan next week and then we can get the plan. I was kind of hoping to get that today, but it is what it is, it's not their fault. It's, you know, it's just timing, right? So yes, um, more ice. Uh, if it's like more than four out of 10 pain, I've got to use the crutches and short walks only. So yeah, I suppose a bit deflated, but it is what it is, isn't it? That's the problem when you're in yourself, but you never know, right? The thing is, we've got to wait until the scan. Once we know the scan, once we know what we've got, then we can get a plan. So come on, Fordy, let's get positive. Let's get positive. Right, okay, that's it for the weekly vlog. Uh, come back next week. We'll update you on the calf. We'll update you on everything else. Uh, again, big shout out to Carl and George. Big shout out to Sophie. I really do appreciate all the help and that, trying to get me back to where we need to be. I'm not going to do any running, obviously. But yes, uh, make sure you tune in next week um, and we'll update you on what's going on. We've got some other cool things planned as well. 
So I'll catch you guys later because I've got to get back now because I've got to do some work. So I'll catch you guys later.